Greetings, music lovers. I am Christopher Lee. I must apologize for the absence of my monkey, but he hates music. Rather like old Thomas in the story The Barrel Organ by Boleslav Proust. The thing that prevented old Thomas from breaking into song was the fact that he couldn't uh, find the right key. He didn't have an ear for it until he met a certain young lady. Before that, he had the reputation of being the meanest man in town, a condition which cannot be cured even by old age. But who shall blame him when the organ grinder played in such a haunting manner? Barely the ghost of a resemblance to the original tune. Casimir, come up to apartment C. Coming, sir. Perhaps you should listen to me. Good music is my life. It is only because I love things musical that I spurn bad music. And the worst noise I find is that really awful barrel organ instrument. That really is a terrible torture. It has an especially revolting, repetitive quality. I sometimes think that it could easily make a sensitive... Oh, oh watch out! Pompous with the mermaid! And you throw it about as if it was valueless. Have you no respect for art? Hmm? Please take more care. One is always surrounded by a mass of ignorant idiots. Mm, what is it I've forgotten? I meant to sign something. The papers for the apartment. Ah, yes. First and above all, I want it clearly stated that my interdiction against organ grinders completely affects this tenancy. Young man. Here. Thank you, sir. You be sure that you don't damage my best time. A barrel organ. Why we have to have these instruments is almost beyond human understanding. <laughs> these papers of yours. When you have inserted a clause that covers my objection to barrel organs, I shall be more than happy to sign them. And not before. He seems to be a very rich man. He's quite something. He's a Casanova. I'll bet you he'll make a pass at them. Oh, I look for them. For how else would a simple maiden like me catch a husband? <laughs> it seems that you have to woo that type of man before you have a chance. There are so many women <laughs> after him. You'll have to be very clever to get near him. <laughs> That's because of his enormous personality and charm. Well, I warned you about him. And I promise you again, such a surprise to meet me there. It should be fun. <laughs> Come along with the fun. Uh, would you care to sign now, sir? Leave it and go. You called me, sir? Uh, get these pictures, hon. I want all the furniture covered up. You can use the dust sheets. I shall see to it, sir. Um, 
the housewarming party. I've decided to put it off, Pavel. Off, sir? Uh, yes. I'm sorry there's no party. It means that I object to being laughed at. It's time that we put the sheets on the furniture. This is a most interesting book, sir. Ah, and what is this? The Table of Plenty. It is by Van Buren, the pupil of Lendersheim. Ah, and that? Thus. It seems to me that you both can't stay, so you must find an answer to the problem of the dust. If the dust remains, you start packing. You've made the problem's answer simple, sir. I'm staying. Uh, how about making a trip to Tommy, sir? Everybody asks what happened to you. Amazing how anxious they are. You'd be surprised how many people have asked how you were. If you were unwell, uh, I'm happy to tell them that as your barber, I see you every day and you are well and fit. Still, many of them wonder why you have deserted the gay life, <laughs> the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> if you must know, it's just that I am writing my biography. That's most interesting. <laughs> you must have uh, lots of material, uh, cases and lawsuits. The head up a little, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Uh, I must say, though, that there's never a trace of a woman around you. You're very discreet. <laughs> Still, what does one see? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Not so much as a handkerchief or a pair of stockings to see. Unlike some. One of the gentlemen I attend had a souvenir in his room. A corset. <laughs> Many of the gentlemen have little affairs of the most peculiar sort. One of them uses a taxi. Uncomfortable, but safe. <laughs> oh, but the officers are the worst by far. Pardon? That Colonel Grant. Well, I called to shave him last Tuesday. I found him in bed with a couple of beautiful young girls. After they left, my hand shook so I couldn't <laughs> shave him. <laughs> but I digress. Would you consider dyeing your hair? No, I prefer it naturally, yes. But of course, uh, by now I should know your dislike of pretension. So, uh, may I, sir? I thank you, sir. You're welcome. Oh, anything of interest, sir? What are those papers? Points of law, all requiring an opinion. I'm afraid since retiring from my practice, all these legal papers do for me now is to pass the time. Yes, I mean, did you have any cases of, uh, how shall I put it, uh, moral uh, hanky-panky? <laughs> uh, pardon me. I must be going. Good day, sir. Until tomorrow. And what's been happening while I've been busy? A woman and her child moved in this morning to the vacant apartment facing us. The child is reported to have said she found the place depressing. Depressing? Mm. Ah, depressing?
That's the fourth time you have put sugar in my coffee. I apologize humbly. You clumsy fool. Sorry, I didn't mean uh, to. You stupid it idiot. It was an accident, sir. An accident? You're always having accidents. Look what you've done. Oh, no one will ever make I'll do my best to replace it. of my mind that little child saying she found this place depressing. I noticed that their windows were all shut up too. Well, maybe they'll open them later. It's a beautiful night, sir, quite like summer. All of us should have fresh air, especially small children. The mother's a dressmaker. want to play in the yard. But of course you don't. You can take your dolly out there tomorrow. Perhaps there'll be music. Hmm. Yes. Mama, will I ever see you? Yes, maybe. We must face the facts before us. It may be. Or it may not. Time to sleep now. Mama. What is it, darling? I pray to see your face. Maybe soon, if you keep saying your prayers, God will hear you. You're beautiful. Just get out of here. I'm tired of it. Out you go. Out, out, out. Mama, would it be wrong if I play for a little? Can I play out there? Yes, of course you may. That man in the yard with the loud voice, he's always sending people away from here. I know. He doesn't like music. He sends everyone away, Mama. What's the matter? I want my dolly. She was sitting up here. How oh, I do wish the music man would come back, Mama. The poor soul. Such a fine little girl. Uh-huh. 
That's very suspicious. There is a definite disparity. It's most interesting. Perhaps you take a look at it. Just look at the signatures. Well, come along, what do you see? Well, if I'm to tell the truth, I see that someone has used two different sorts of inks, sir. <laughs> you are a stupid idiot. It's hardly surprising, the inks differ. Surely you can see the signatures are more than three years different. And take away that coffee. I don't want any coffee. Uh, but the doctor said that... Then just leave it. Well, what is it now? I wish to inform you, sir, that the barber is here. No, oh, so he, he, he's always here. This is becoming ridiculous. He knows I'm working now. He knows that. You can shake me from now on. I might be silly, sir, but I'm certain of the aim of the barber, but not of my own. Afraid, are we? <laughs> You're useless. Afraid you'll hurt me? Depressing. What a long word for a little girl to use. Depressing. She must stay at home. Will you need the barber? I suppose so. A lovely sunny day. Depressing. How strange. The magical feelings you have as a child. Only to become adult and lose them. Oh, oh, she mustn't. She's looking full at the sun. If only somebody was by to warn her, she ought to be told off. She might seriously injure herself. Eh? Why, the child's blind. Blind? Come along in now, darling. We'll have a nice cup of tea. The barber, sir? All right, fetch It's very nice out, sir. A beautiful day. Uh, but yesterday was awful. After I left you, sir, I had the most terrible experience. I mean, my nerves simply are at their last end, sir. What happened was, when I left you, I decided that it might be a nice idea to go out with a couple of young ladies, friends of mine, on a picnic. But the whole afternoon got completely out of hand. Believe me, I've never been so miserable. Morally indefensible. <laughs> Will you please sit down, sir? If you please. We had barely begun our picnic. When out popped a major in the dragoons. A major. He implied that I was on familiar terms with one of the girls. Who he said was a very special friend of his. Then you may imagine my surprise when he started to make the most awful innuendos about me and the poor girl. But I was very... Are you sure you won't die? For the sake of fashion? No, 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 I don't want to. Stupid of me, sir. Knowing how you detest all pretense. I'm a fool. Uh, by the way, sir, I don't know if you'd be interested. I have the ability to introduce to you, uh, but only, of course, in the discreetest way, the most beautiful creature. A beautiful big pair of... Uh, plenty to get hold of in the winter. <laughs> and for a very small outlay. Uh, practically nothing. Merely a gift now and then. A small gift. A very few and she remains faithful to you. It's that simple. Pavil! Pavil! That appalling sound is nothing short of torture. Thank you. 
New objects. I thought my master forbade any barrel organs outside here. And he meant what he said about it. This man's barrel organ. I'm surprised you don't play the bloody thing. I suppose you like to cause trouble. Now, what am I going to do? Pay attention to me. Yes, sir. I shall pay attention, yes. Now, let us just recap the situation. I seem to remember that it was my intention to give you a small indemnity if you did what I wanted of you. That's what so you'd keep offensive persons outside the courtyard. But what happened the Jacob. moment... My intentions remain exactly the same. You mustn't let me down. What that means is that this time you now, will... That's enough. I shall be rewarding you for how many barrel organs a day you bring in. What? I shall be the most outnumbered lover of music in the entire city. It's nonsense to me. Well, it's not to me. Just see you obey, that's all I want. Barrel organ, sir, yes. Meanwhile, Jacob, get me my coat, hat, and gloves. Lots of yes, barrel yes. organs, Casimir. the best oculist at the eye hospital. Uh, I know Dr. who. Dr. Portabina. Dr. Portabina. Thank you.